morning and good afternoon and good evening whenever you're tuning in thanks for being here welcome back to three days three ways we are going to take one amazing item style it three different ways and it might be one of the most important pieces to get into your closet this season it is the trouser relaxed comfortable incredibly versatile and the best way to bring a modern slant to your wardrobe we're going to start with a more casual look and kind of work into some alternates let's talk about the pant first this is from sanctuary it's the noho trouser a million reasons to love this and we're going to start with the fit it is relaxed it runs true to size i'm wearing my normal size in this one really comfortable full waistband zip button fly and it has loops for a belt if you so choose flat seaming detail here so a little bit of that fun kind of faux pleat but no pleat so you get the seaming detail that's really flattering without any of the bulk pockets thank you for that and one of my favorite details is great little side slit that gives the leg a lot of movement now you're going to notice this pant is a little bit more relaxed it's meant to puddle a little bit at the bottom it doesn't need to look super tailored and tight we want this guy to feel as though it is easy as a little bit of slouch and kind of cool factor to any wardrobe so here i am i'm going kind of collegiate prep today how fun is this this is from good american it is a dare i say sexy slant on our beloved rugby from yesteryear. So no buttons, but you get that great cotton detail around the neckline and a big open V, which is so flattering. A really fun spin on that rugby stripe done in this great taupe and black. Little bit of a puff sleeve here, and I just pulled it up to show a little skin, and then did a bit of a half tuck just to give myself a waist. Now this guy is generous. I went down a size in this, and I still feel like I have tons of room. Now to finish it off, it doesn't get any easier than a sneaker. And I think this new sneak from P448 might be one of my favorites. And yes, you can do a sneaker with a trouser. That's what makes this so fun. Little hint of shearling on here, neutral, done and done. I see this for running around, maybe popping into my kid's school if they forgot their lunch, which they do almost every day. Whose fault is that? Is it mine? Or we're not here to plane, but somehow I end up making that trip almost every day. Anyway, casual, fun, easy gang. I've got a really great option for that Monday to Friday work look coming right up after this. Look number two, for those of us that are heading into the office, even if it's just a couple days a week, looking for new ideas. And I think this is a really fun, modern way to dress up that wear to work pant. We all had a black pant in college, especially. Do you remember that? It was the black going out pant. You paired it literally with everything. Then you graduated and you got your black work pant. And this was the pant you wore every day with probably a blouse, maybe a blazer, maybe it was even part of a suit. And then you broke it up. And then we took a pause on it not just because of COVID, but because maybe we were in a black pant all the time. And I think that's what makes this trouser feel so fun and fresh, is that we haven't had this guy in the closet in our rotation. We haven't had this more relaxed, slouchy silhouette, and this is what makes it so fun. Now, for work, instead of pairing it back to an expected woven top, I'm letting it be a little bit more textural, and I think a little bit more interesting. This is that fabulous Artie style Cassie sweater, now here's what's great. If you work in an office where you can't do sleeveless, this does have more of a cap sleeve, but it is fantastic for this transition time of year when the weather is all over the place. Now it's got a straight cut. It's gonna hit you kind of at your hip. I did a little bit of a half tuck. You could easily add a belt to this just for a little bit of waist definition. Got my no-ho trousers back on, and then let's talk about the shoe. The loafer is having a moment, and have you met a better work shoe than the loafer? I don't think so. It's a flat, so it's comfortable, but it's so chic. Now, this is from Sam Edelman. Why I love this. A mix of gold and silver hardware, a little bit of a heel, but not so much. I mean, this so reminds me of penny loafers, like back to school shopping when I was in second grade, and 
going with my parents, that was like the one shoe you could get aside from your sneaker. This is the grown up version and it's so much more fun. And then of course I grabbed my Parker Clay backpack because I think this is a great alternative to your typical work bag. Still big enough to slip your laptop into, throw it on over your shoulder if you're commuting or it's an easy one to toss in that seat next to you. And it still looks chic enough that if you are meeting someone out for dinner or drinks after, you still look totally put together. There we go. RD style turtleneck, back to the trousers, loafer, backpack. This is our back to work look. We got this nailed. All right, one more fun weekend look coming up. Say the best for last. I mean, I love those first two looks, of course, but this one's pretty darn special. This is your showstopper piece. This is one of those jackets you're gonna have in your closet and you're gonna to wanna to reach for it again and again because wow, what it does for any look, including these amazing trousers. So here's the deal. This is from Bash. What I love about Bash is their incredibly rich color and the way they use print pattern to make any piece just a standout showstopper. This is no exception. Taking a blanket plaid, and it sounds exactly what it sounds like, blanket plaid. It's like the favorite you know, blanket you've had laying around your house or maybe it was even at your grandparents' house for years. That's a blanket plaid. Now they made it into a jacket with all this yum, fun color. Now what takes this blazer to a whole new place is the incredible detailing. So number one, shawl color. I love that because you can layer underneath it. I could easily put a little turtleneck or a crew neck or even a lightweight sweater under this. I'm just wearing a cami because I want it just to be lighter weight this time of year. Belted, it comes with this incredible Western belt detail, which I think is fantastic. I'm gonna wear this belt separately, but I love it, love it, love it with this jacket, especially in the brown. I think you might expect it to be in black, but they twisted it around, popped it with brown. Now, we're gonna pair it back to, ooh, look it, I'm dancing in the light here. Pairing it back to this great trouser, Still love this, and I think it's a little more unexpected maybe than a denim would be, and which is why I love this. And yes, brown and black can work together. Now, footwear. I'm gonna take a little riff on this Western detail. I'm gonna pair it back to my Soma booty from Dolce Vita in that creamy white. Of course, these trousers are fabulous because that slit just shows it off, and it picks up some of the lighter tones in this jacket. Keeping my jewelry simple because this is a standout, an incredible piece that you really can wear all the places. And what I love about all of these looks is the footwear could be mixed with any of the outfits I had on. You could wear this booty with that great turtleneck neck sweater. You could wear the, sneak, the sneaker back to this look if you wanted to go more casual. You could easily take that loafer and pair it with the rugby because ooh, how fun would that be as a back to school look. Okay, there you go, the no trouser. True to size from Sanctuary, our favorite trouser out there and absolutely what you need to get that closet refreshed and looking modern in a great way to infuse some newness into any outfit you would normally wear with denim. Hope this gave you some great ideas and we will see you next week. Take care everybody.